Hi, in this video we'd like to explain what is a fetal demise and embryonic demise. So, fetal demise or embryonic demise is considered a pregnancy loss. We also consider it as a miscarriage that happens during different times of the gestation period. Usually these types of pregnancy loss, the fetus or the baby no longer shows any signs of life. So there's no heartbeat. Is, uh, it's not developing anymore and then placenta is also not functioning the hormonal functions are also not working and then we see this pregnancy failure happen when we diagnose it with the ultrasound we don't see any heartbeat we don't see any growth so these types of uh, pregnancy loss embryonic demise happens within the first 12 weeks because at that stage it's still an embryo we cannot consider it as a fetus because there's no limbs there's no organs there's no systems when this type of pregnancy failure happens after week 12, for example, in the second trimester, third trimester, all the way up to week 24, then we will call it a fetal demise because at that stage it's already sufficiently large and then uh, it's uh, growing as well, so it's a fetus now. So it's a fetal demise if it happens after 12 weeks, and before that it's an embryonic demise. And there's up to 43 individual causes that can lead to this type of pregnancy outcome outcome very similar to miscarriages and recurrent miscarriages it can trigger the same outcome which is this fetal demise so uh, symptoms of a fetal demise is that you will begin to observe your pregnancy symptoms slowly disappearing for example nausea vomiting which is morning sickness usually it should sustain itself for a few weeks however you see a sudden decrease and over time, it's no longer vomiting again. Then it could be a sign of a fetal demise. Furthermore, we also experienced a drop in breast nipple sensitivity. And then you will experience light vaginal bleeding. And then this bleeding, the blood is particularly red in color, dark red. It's a distinct characteristic of a fetal demise. And afterwards, you will also begin to experience cramping and pains in the lower abdomen and your lower back and then until the pregnancy is expelled out of your body leading uh, to this miscarriage that we know as fetal device so the fetus will be expelled pregnancy tissue will be expelled as well the amniotic sac the placenta umbilical cord and other pregnancy tissues so here at the hospital we want you to take this opportunity although as tragic as it is you should quickly take this opportunity and do a, a post-operative examination of the fetus to identify any chromosomal abnormality, uh, any cause that we can identify what caused this fetal demise so that we can prevent it from happening again. And we want you to do this using a hysteroscopy procedure. Avoid using an ENC procedure because it can cause more complications, you can develop an immunity factor because of the scraping of the uh, inner lining of the uterus can also cause some damage as well. So take this opportunity not only to check the fetus using uh, our examinations to identify any problems, you also need to do an examination for yourself as well. You'll be checking for anti-embryonic antibodies, you do an endocrine examination, you need to do an anatomical examination of the uterus, ovaries, and then you need to quickly identify what exactly caused it. If you follow our procedures here at the hospital, we can have it diagnosed within one to two days. So causes for fetal demise, as I explained earlier, are these five. Firstly, the most common one is the immunological factor, anti-embryonic antibodies. Very likely, if you have a fetal demise, it's caused by this. And then we will give you our treatment, which is our patented immunotherapy that can neutralize this. Secondly is the endocrine factor, which means some hormonal imbalances, progesterone, estrogen, HCG, something is causing a disruption, disruption in the hormones. Thirdly is anatomical, which means ovaries have some problems, the uterus has some problems, even the inner lining of the endometrium, the implantation site could have some problems, then you can diagnose it using laparoscopy and hysteroscopy. Next one is the genetic factor that's why we need to do an analysis of the fetus and lastly some very rare and also uh, uh, 
an un undiagnosed cause, very sending less than 5%. So here at the hospital, once we figure out what's going on that actually triggered this fetal demise, we then advise you to avoid your next pregnancy, receive treatment first, because we don't want your next pregnancy to repeat in the same failure. So Anta Hospital specializes in the prevention and also treatment of pregnancy losses and miscarriages, especially common ones like fetal demise. And we offer you a full contractual treatment. If your next pregnancy ends in another failure, then we are obligated to refund you a full treatment cost. Get in touch with us via the website to set up an online consultation and also leave me a comment down below.